In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to use the histogram and scales tabs when working with graduated color maps. All right, so in this map, we've already created um, a graduated color map for the parcel layer. And um, this is just kind of a continuation from the last demonstration. And we, we broke our data into categories, right? This is numeric data, but we broke it into to various categories. So what we want to focus on in this demonstration is uh, the histogram tab and the scales tab that are part of the graduate color rendering. Uh, we looked at the classes tab in the last section. That's where we made our label changes. Uh, last demo, we also looked at advanced labeling uh, from some of our uh, formatting for our labeling that uh, broke our data up a little bit differently. But we're going to focus mainly here on the histogram and scales tab. So the histogram tab, what it will do is it will break your data down into the classes. So remember, we have our, our classes of low, medium, low, medium, high, and very high. When you look at it in the histogram tab, it, it actually looks at the numeric data. So you can see your upper values here. That's what you're seeing on the left-hand side here is, uh, uh, are those uh, upper values for the classes that were defined. At the very top of the histogram, you have your minimum value, which in this case is zero. At the very bottom of your histogram, you have the maximum value. On the left-hand side, these are the indicators of the upper ranges. You can see how they correspond here to the classes. Um, so you'll see your ranges. On the right-hand side, these gray bars are an indicator of how many uh, observations fell within that class. So you can see that the vast majority of observations are falling into uh, the lower classes uh, for our data here. Uh, that's indicated by this long gray bar. You can see some of these classes have, well, it looks like they don't have any values in these classes. That's just because of the scale is so large because there's so many values uh, that fall within those first classes. It looks like there's not any values here. There are, it's just because of the scale of, of, of what we're looking at. It looks like there's not any, but you can see that there are certainly some here. Uh, the, the mean for the data set will uh, be in this little symbol. This is the mean symbol. If you mouse over it, it will tell you what the mean is. You can also make changes to your scales from here as well. So these little arrows, you can pick these up with your mouse, move them as needed to change the scale, or uh, you can type in a new value here as well just by typing in a value. I'm not going to do this here, but uh, you can type in a different value here. So, if, well, we're going to do one. Let, let's just change it from roughly 29 million to, to 30 million, right? One, two, three, four, six, hit enter, and it changes the value. And you'll notice it also updates that value in the table of contents. And this did something I probably didn't want it to do, right? It, it automatically changed that label as well. So I might have to come back to my label and change that to, uh, change that to high. Oops. Better if I can spell a little bit. There we go. All right. But again, you can make changes to these ranges just by clicking the arrows and dragging them up or down or by typing in the actual value by uh, well, using your mouse here, selecting a value and then uh, typing in a new value as needed. All right. So that's the histogram tab. And basically what the histogram tab does is give you an indication of the spread of your data. Right. In this case, our data is definitely skewed towards the lower end. Uh, the parcels mainly just because we have such a very few parcels that have extremely high values in this case. But it'll give you an idea of the spread of your data set uh, and give you an idea of if there's some skew. In this case, there's definitely a skew towards the lower end of our scales, uh, our classes. All right, so the scales tab then, uh, the scales tab is an interesting one. This is new to ArcGIS Pro, and what the scales tab will allow you to do, I'll just kind of make this a little bit larger. The scales tab allows you to set scale ranges on individual classes. Right. So in this case, I might want to take the lowest uh, class, uh, which is basically any parcel that fell below this upper value number. And what I want to do in this case is there may be cases where I want to turn off those classes at certain scales. So you can use this little scale range slider. And these are, these are thumbs on the left hand and the right hand side. Uh, you can pull these thumbs out. And so let's just set it to 1 to 24,000. We won't set the right-hand side set to none. So effectively what this is doing is it's setting a scale range for this particular class. So this particular class will only draw when the scale is between 1 to 24,000 and essentially 0. Right? So you can see it automatically turned off uh, that lower class uh, the values for those lower class values because my current map scale is 1 to 41,000. Now as I zoom in once I get inside 1 to 24,000, then it turns in those turns on uh, the values for those lower classifications. All right? But this can be helpful when you're wanting to, to turn layers or, or symbols 
for a layer on and off uh, as needed based upon the map scale. And you'll see it also updates uh, the table of contents uh, to reflect when a layer is turned on when it's turned off. All right now, now low comes back on, low turns off. All right, that's it for this time. Thank you for.